Okay, my friends out there, I'm gonna make a quick video regards to this uh, diesel truck. And uh, this thing ha came in, it's a diesel, 6.7 liter, two, 2012 uh, Ford pickup truck. And on the dashboard, it said water in tank and uh, reduce engine power. So basically you have low engine power and you have, it says uh, water in tank. And you scan the codes with uh, any kind of scan tool and it says water in tank sensor circuit malfunction or some shit like that. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, P P2269 is the code number and it says to replace the fuel filter, replace water and fuel sensor, replace fuel pump, clean engine fuel system, replace fuel injector. Now that's bullshit. Uh, you don't have to replace nothing. First thing first, replace the filter. Replace the filter, make sure there's no water in it. Well, there's two filters in this. There's one under the hood and then one underneath the car. And the one underneath the car has a sensor right there. Has a sensor right there. So, uh, the sensor is roughly like $40. Change the filter, change the sensor, okay? To be on the safe side. Make sure these wires are not broken. The wires are good. Now. You don't have to replace the fuel injector or you don't have to replace the fuel pump or nothing like that what it says on the computer now snap-on doesn't have an option but Oldtel we have another scanner has an option how to after you replace the sensor or you replace the filter you have to reset the fuel in, uh, water and fuel uh, timer in this computer you have to reset the timer if you don't do that whatever you do that timer is 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 on zero and it's gonna come on uh, with that code and uh, 2269 and it's gonna keep you know saying reduce power this and that and you're gonna go crazy looking for the problem so uh, anyway keep it short long story short you connect your hotel and everything like that and you go into your uh, read, the, uh, read the VIN and everything and you come to service there's a service option there you come to the service and then you'll come into uh, powertrain and then you'll come into service functions reset clear specified functions reset clear functions and then you'll say okay yes whatever you wish to reset okay and here's the thing water and fuel counter here's the part you gotta come in here number one select and then you'll say okay and then set the ignition to on ignition is on press okay and that said the following functions have reset cleared successfully order and fuel counter that's all you gotta do and if there is any codes you go back and you clear all the codes and here we go Confirm exit function, yes. Now you're gonna automatic selection. Whatever, I just went all the way back for no reason. But anyway, you get the story. This is how you gotta do. It's a 6.7 liter automatic diesel, 2012 this one. And anyway, you so you check the codes out. There's no codes after you finish. And uh, you're done. Start the car and no more lights on the dash everything is off that's about it thanks for watching and good luck so this is a little hint of how to reset that light on the dash thanks for watching ozzy's all repair have a nice day